You love a good luxury bag, but not the prices that they are at today. Maybe you're into sustainable, unique designs that are really refreshing, a really great quality, or you're just curious because you saw this bag on my thumbnail. In any case, I will be doing a full review of this bag, what it fits, what it's made of, where it's made of, what brand is this, how it looks on me. So this bag is from this brand right here. I believe they are pronounced Miloy. If you're from Istanbul, then let me know if I pronounced it right because this is a brand from Turkey, Istanbul, and this was the original packaging. This was the beautiful dust bag that it came in. It's green and there's the little logo right there. The inside of the dust bag is really soft. It has that sort of very soft material. We've got the little M emblem right here. On this side, there's also a little bit of the branding here. You see how this bag is black on the inside and beige and white on the outside, right? With a beautiful top handle and a strap. Well, that's not just it. It actually is reversible. <laughs> so I just literally reversed the bag and it became black. So you've got two designs in one and on this side you can wear it crossbody with this long adjustable strap or you can also double it up right just like that and wear it as a shoulder bag this bag is called the harley and i got it in the color cortado i was really really attracted to the fact that it was black on one side beige on the other side because i love the idea that i have a nice bright bag on one side and a black bag on the other, especially on days that I don't want to ruin and color transfer my bag, then I'll just turn it into the black side and wear this side and crossbody on black is just perfect. No color transfer, no worries of dirtying your bag. It's so smart. And on days that I just want a prim and proper top handle and kind of like a neutral, nice color, nice rich color, then I just turn it onto this side. And I still have access to the strap, actually. The strap is very versatile. I can still wear it crossbody on this side. As I said earlier, Miloy is an Istanbul brand started in 2015. The founder and creative director also had a background in industrial design. Hence the reason their bags have such a nice sort of architectural shape. One of their core values is also sustainability. The focus of this brand is not only on the quality of the material, but also on the design and sustainability with architectural aesthetic, unexpected shapes and details at a contemporary price point. Their headquarters is now split between the US and Turkey. All their production is made in-house in their Istanbul facility with LWG certified Italian leather. LWG is the leather working group. They use environmentally certified and responsible leather. Their company is also focused on developing innovative ways of designing their product, avoiding overproduction and reducing waste where traceability and environmental impact of the product is just as important as their aesthetic. So a good example of that is their Sarah family bags that was actually born from an upcycle project of leathers that were left over from another Naomi bag. So this bag retails for 535 US dollars. They do offer free shipping worldwide and also uh, duty and taxes are always included for all countries. In any case, I will just direct you to their FAQ page where you can get all the details about shipping, returns, and duties and taxes. Uh, but the gist of it is that if you're just worried about the initial cost, you don't have to because that's all included in their pricing already. Ready. The Harley comes in six different color combos at the moment. I think these are their newest summer, uh, spring summer colors. And like I said, this bag has two personalities. Because this bag is reversible, you can basically take it from day to night. You might be wondering how the compartments work. They're very simple in a way. And so as you can see on top right here, we have one compartment on this side with a magnetic closure. And this other side also has the same compartment, but it's a zippered closure. So you effectively have one side that is more secure where you can put your wallet and your keys. And on this side, you can put your phone for easy access. 
and that is exactly what I did. I have my phone and my hand sanitizer right in there. So it's super easy access and it's really a large compartment. You don't have to worry about your large phone not fitting. It's just not possible because it's such a good size bag and it just fits right in. And because it's a magnet, it's so easy to get in and out. The interior is also fully lined in that micro suede. It measures 24 and a half centimeters on top across like this and about 26 centimeter on the bottom so it's slightly narrower on top and the height of the bag from here to here is about 17 centimeter and you've got these four pockets four distinct pockets of your bag and i guess this would be the width of your bag it would be around 16 centimeter wide from here to here when we flip it over this handle is now hidden and becomes sandwiched on this side we've got the logo right here it's very subtle and there's no logo on this other side it's just plain but essentially you're looking at the same side profile but just reversed and this side doesn't have the top handle but it does have the gold hardware d-ring it's kind of that matte hardware which holds the strap and this strap is completely detachable it has five different settings and i have it in the middle setting right now it also has these little loops for securing the strap and even the underside of the gold hardware here where you adjust the strap length on the other side it has the logo embossed on the hardware as well so there's a lot of little details the shoulder strap drop right now in the middle setting 19 and a half inch or 50 centimeters so you can technically make it slightly longer or slightly shorter since i'm right in the middle i like that you can easily just pull the middle and make it into a shorter shoulder bag because this is really really pretty as a shoulder bag and it sits comfortably on your shoulder as well the leather on the strap is feels the same as the leather on the body of the bag it's just a really nice soft i thought it was calf skin at first but it says that it's napa leather so that would make it a lambskin although this is a durable a really durable lambskin it's sort of that in between calf skin and lambskin softness you can feel that it's sturdy enough to endure some weather conditions really nice and soft a smooth leather with a very very slight grain and it's very durable i have taken this out into the rain not pouring rain but it was drizzly but you can just easily use your finger to wipe it off or if you have a kleenex to wipe it off not extreme weather of course but a little drizzle and a little snow should definitely be fine let's go through what we have in the bag because you'll be blown away at how much this bag actually fits as you can see it has my sunglasses it also has my phone. Also, I have my hand sanitizer, which is a spray bottle hand sanitizer that was sitting upright in the bag. There's actually a bit more space, but I just wanted to make this compartment here really accessible and not too crowded. Just things that I do reach in and out very often. Going through this other side, the zipper is very smooth, works really, really well. So I have quite a few things in here. These are things that I wanted to make sure that it stays secure, it doesn't fall out of my bag easily. So I do have my Chanel card holder, which is basically my wallet. I have money and cards in there. I also have my six key holder, which all of this is basically standing upright. I also have a bag hanger right here. This is my um, Carrie Atelier bag hanger. And last but not least, I have my car keys right there. Those are the two outside compartments from the beige side, but, but 
I do have things in the black side as well. I can still access it from the little, um, little cutout here on top. It's a little more difficult, but it's still definitely accessible, such as right here, I have a pouch that was in the magnetic closure compartment of the black side. And I have this little pouch which carries basically all the little knickknacks that I have. Equally, I can reach for the zippered compartment as well, but I will just turn it around since it's so much easier to show you from this side. So as you can see, I also had stuff right here, a few makeup items and also my coin purse since I don't really use my coin purse that often, but I do have my coins right here. I have my mirror, my Chanel mirror, and I also have a lip oil. And now that we have everything out of the bag, it's so much lighter. This bag is not heavy at all. So I went ahead and weighed the bag for you because I know that weight is very subjective. I generally feel that if a handbag is not more than two pounds when it's empty, then it's considered acceptable. And this one is definitely way under. It's very lightweight. It comes out at 529 grams, which is around 1.16 pounds. So just about 1.1, 1.2 pounds. It's very, very light. As you can see, now that it's empty, it's very, very light. And you don't even have to use all four pockets. I mean, I think that having all four pockets used is a smart way of being able to bring everything with you, especially with things that you don't reach for a ton. You can use the underside. If you were to just look at the detailed stitching, the handle, this handle is absolutely phenomenal and it's very pleasant to the feel um like the leather is really soft and plush um the handle is structured but can move around with the bag it's fluid every little stitch and um seams and just the finishing of the bag the zippers are smooth there's not really anything that i would complain about the sides are glazed fantastically and i definitely think that the the quality is on par with on par with the the favorite brands that i own and that i favor uh, a lot it's it's just i i don't have anything to complain even the hardware which is very minimal on this bag but the hardware is beautiful it's just this sort of nice matte golden hardware the straps are secured perfectly inside it doesn't turn or toss so whichever side you secure it in that's how it stays in it's very mobile even i mean they go as far as even stamping the branding here on the back side of this little part of the hardware and even the shape of it they don't just do a random shape they do this sort of hexagon right one two three four five six the finishing even on the strap you can tell how malleable the strap is it's just a wonderful, wonderful quality. I am very, very impressed by the quality and the craftsmanship in general. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10, which is a perfect score because I think it really deserves it. And especially for the price, but not just because of the price, I am giving it a 10 out of 10 based on the construction, the material they use and give and knowing that they source their material in a responsible way they use responsible leather i'm also just very impressed by the company by their mission and just the fact that they are making their bags so affordable now of course my review only goes for this bag but if all their other styles are just as wonderful as this one then i will have to say that it's definitely a company or a brand worth looking at. I always said that, you know, there are things that I will only buy from the mainstream brands and you guys already know it's mostly the classics. But with every other brand that are not my usual go-to, I only choose or I mainly choose styles that you don't see anywhere. That is so unusual and unique. 
and that you wouldn't spend that kind of money on the mainstream brands. And I feel like with this design, which I've never seen anywhere else, I'm pretty sure this is a pretty cool innovation. Um, I think it's I think it's the coolest thing. I think it's the coolest bag. I really enjoy having this top handle because not only is it easy to do a quirk of the arm, it also looks very nice and put together just to be able to hold it. I love the fact that I can even hold by the two handles and it's not stiff. It's not stiff where like the bag has to move with the top handle. The top handle can sort of have its own freedom, uh, which I don't know how they did this, but the creative director definitely has vision and definitely saw what was possible, which yeah, it's sort of that structured, but still has give that kind of flexibility, even in these um, pockets right here. So they do collapse and they do sort of push against each other, but they won't go all the way in. So it's a really nice sort of flexible texture that is still um, structured, which is very, very hard to do or to imagine at first, I'm sure and they managed to do that. Of course, a review wouldn't be complete without pros and cons. The strap doesn't turn right here. It doesn't turn on its own, like unless you really forced it, but it stays pretty much however um, you adjusted the strap. Now, if you turn it over though, if you turn it over, if it's dangling, it's fine. It's still the right side out, but if you were to wear it, right if you were to wear it on this side then you have to turn it around so it would be upside down which is not a big deal because only you would notice it because as you can see while you're wearing on this side as a shoulder bag only you would notice that the you know the, the strap is really inside out um, but that's a con in in a sense that because the strap you cannot just turn it easily from where the hardware secures the strap um, that's sort of like a minor very minor con the other con about this bag is that because each compartment it's essentially a flat pocket it does have some give card holder and keys six keys you can still close and it will definitely still fit together the two together combined will still fit in your bag um, your AirPods for sure will fit. So this is my AirPods Pro with a case in it. It will definitely still fit. Let's try the sunglass case, right? So I have this sort of bulky sunglass case. I think it will still fit, but let's just take a look. Yes, it still fits. So anything thicker than a sunglass case, and this is the sunglass case for my Oliver People's sunglasses. Anything thicker than this, there's just no way. With more use, um, you might start seeing some sort of creasing depending on the shape of your items especially. So that is something to keep in mind over time, but that is just general wear and tear which will happen to any bag. But just keep in mind that because this is sort of like that soft structure, it's, it's still structure, but it's a soft structure, it's a semi-structure that uh, over time with the different shapes of your items in your bag and with more and more use it might start getting those creases as far as cons and wear and tear that's all i can tell you uh, i don't think there's tons of cons with this bag it's just so so fun i feel like in terms of pros there are so many i love the fact that you basically have two bags in one i love this beautiful top handle it's just such a solid but also flexible and beautifully designed concept. Um, I love the fact that they thought about one secure pocket and one easy access pocket, but doesn't mean that because this is inside that you don't get to use it, you still can put your things in it, which I did. Uh, it will make your bag a bit heavy, but that's because I have so many things inside. I love the fact that it does have this shoulder strap so that you can easily, easily get hands free. This shoulder strap is also wonderfully soft and just really high quality. Um, what else can I tell you? I mean, it's just such a cool bag that you would almost, you know, see someone wear and you would almost wonder like, oh, where's this bag from? Because it's so special. And the fact that you can just, you know, turn it around as you please 
and just use as you please. I think it's quite ingenious actually. Let me know what you think of this bag and if you've heard of Miloy yourself because this is definitely my first time hearing about this brand. I think they did a wonderful job on this bag and I definitely think that if they keep doing what they do which is to innovate and to do these really funky architectural structures and um, folding and just reversible it's just gonna bring their brand to the next level and it's definitely a brand to be watching out for so i hope you enjoyed this i hope you found this helpful i will link this uh, exact combination and this exact bag down below if you're interested if you're new to my channel and you enjoyed it definitely subscribe i would love to have you back you can also support me by buying me a coffee i would really appreciate it all the links are down below thanks again have a great day and i'll talk to you guys again very soon bye